All right, 23.2 just got announced. It's unique, uh, never done anything like it. We've never had shuttle runs before, never had uh, burpee pull-ups. So uh, something like this is just really cool. Um, it's not a repeat, thank goodness. This is different in every way. So I'm excited to give it a go. 15 minutes is a long time. Personally, um, I like shuttle runs, uh, burpee pull-ups. They are what they are, see how that goes. But uh, then the thruster I think will be a lot of fun. We'll get to see some, some high numbers on that. Excited to give it a go. Gonna head to across the Skyfall here in about five minutes and start getting warmed up. See you there. Good job, woo! Yeah, yeah! Hi. Buttery Sis is back yeah. after uh, after months of <laughs> retirement. <laughs> Month hiatus. <laughs> big hiatus, big hiatus. Yeah. We got the tape. You only find me in We got the tape. Yeah. Tape. This is Matt like is the bar. You won't find me. Matt. Max. Mustache. Max's mustache. Max Matt. <laughs> hey, what's a three letter word that starts with gas? Three letter word that starts with gas has to be gas. Nope. Not gas. Um, gas. <laughs> gas cap? Nope. I don't know. That's not a three letter word. I'm literally terrible with words. What do you expect from me? Car. Car? Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I mean, you told me this one earlier. I was trying to think of it. Here goes nothing. That one hurt a lot more than last week. That one looked like it hurt. <laughs> uh, we're about, what, I finished 20 minutes ago and my heart rate is still 120. Not good. I'd say I underestimated that. You'll see uh, in my round one and round two, I'm, uh, I'm running pretty fast. And I did not finish that way. <laughs> I guess to start with that, go slower. <laughs> go a little slower from the start. Yeah, so 100% I think that is a, I mean, you're not having to move that quickly on the burpees, I think, to get still just as far as you did, because yeah. in the later rounds, if you would have had an extra gear, or like a kick in, yeah, I could have pushed. you could have pushed a little harder and got just as far as you did. But then that's tough going in the thruster, too, so I wanted to like, kind of, yeah, I guess you got to kind of pick, it, yeah. It, toe in the line a little bit, because you could definitely like push in the middle where it's that round of 20 or 25, so... Just so you guys know, Jack was in the round of 25, so he really started to feel it in the round of 15. He asked what time it was, <laughs> and uh, whenever, if you've done a workout, you know, if you ask what time it is, and there's a lot of time left, you're like, oh crap, I just I just overshot myself. I was six minutes in at that point, yes. not good. Yes, that's I think never I, a good sign. I think I could have handstand walked faster than I was running. I think the run, you just need to kind of stay moving on. You can be kind yeah. of slow, but you just got to be able to try to think of what pace you can be at to manage the burpee pull-ups. Practice your turns. So I was turning the same way, which got me kind of dizzy, to be honest. So practice turning one okay. way and then turn the other way. I would recommend that. And then on the practice of burpee pull-ups, if you're not, if you don't do these very often, practice those because you want to be able to jump up and go right into your, into your pull-up. On a couple of them, I was jumping forward, jumping back, and it was just got off I track. think slowing down, if you're somebody who thinks you're gonna struggle with that in the later round, wouldn't be a bad idea. Just so then you know you're getting the best out of your jump every single time and not having to, because if you're somebody who doesn't have a pull up unless you're doing a jumping, then that means if you get caught awkward one way or the other, you're not gonna get the pull up. But like, if you can use as much effort in your legs as you can, your, your pull is gonna be a lot easier. So if you're somebody that kind of struggles with pull up, that might be, way to go if maybe not then maybe use a little bit less legs and focus on still like using a little bit more of your pull i don't know you can kind of get more advice on that i know 
how did your legs feel after my that? legs hurt more than my arms my arms were fine I so like, you were probably jump, if i had to guess the run and that jump yeah, probably sure. did more damage for your thruster yeah than like the pulling or are you pressing it up did. i'd say so yeah and that's why i mean like if you're somebody that has good gymnastics and can pull pretty strong like you using a little bit less leg drive and having to pull and feeling like you're getting an upper body pump a little bit yeah. in the midst of the workout might not be a bad thing because you're it's not true. using your legs as much. But that's a game you play like when you're trying to get a little bit more weight. Yeah, it's good. And then going good. in the thruster, uh, I took two minutes, which I felt was good for me. Some people might be able to recover faster. I don't know. It depends on how you go in the workout. If yeah. you're pushing that at the very end, you probably should take at least a minute to two minutes off. And then how many? I had, I had did you do? five, so I had five, five attempts. Five I had missed three. my fourth, so I went down a little bit and then hit a solid number for me, I think. I, I was happy with that, so. Yeah, I think somewhere between probably like four and five attempts probably is where most people will be. Yeah. Just when you go to up to the bar, especially for your first one, I think you just gotta make sure that it's a pretty comfortable weight, like something that you'd be like, okay, I could do this any day, even if I felt rough, just, give a little confidence boost after your heart rate's like skyrocketed. Yep, the warm up thruster, I mean this is obvious, but warm up thruster before so you know what you're gonna start with and kind of an idea of what you're gonna finish at too. Uh, that'll help. Yeah, say warm up and also like we're talking a little bit, I don't know, I don't know what you're saying, but talking about like warming up your low back and you're hinging a little bit because yeah. you're gonna be touching the ground and hinging in the burpee, you're gonna be hinging in really the squat clean or the clean to get it up a little bit and then also every time you touch the ground. So there's back a lot a more tight. hinging in this workout than Back was a little tight, but not nearly as bad as previous years. Yeah, <laughs> usually there's, there's always workouts. that one workout that's like, yeah, that's just like blows the, you up. <laughs> yeah. I think last year it was probably one of the deadlifts on that burpee. Is that what yeah. it was? Burpees and deadlifts? Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. It was like 225 and like burpees and five. Yeah. The worst one was dumbbell, dumbbell snatch and burpee box and roller. That was the worst one by far. That was rough the very first year especially. Yeah. Like, blew me up. But there's a thousand tips videos, so go watch people smarter than me. But those are my reactions. It was fun. I love the workout, but it sucked. So good luck. It'll be fun. I promise. <laughs>